Hi friends, today we will see the configuration of ATP Link EAP225 uh, uh, C-Link access point. So first of all, we have to give to IP address to our uh, uh, LAN card. Open uh, network and internet setting. Then go to Ethernet. Then uh, change adapter setting. Here we will open our LAN card and we will give the IP address uh, range in 192.168.0. Something IP we will give to some IP because its uh, default IP is 192.168.0.254. It's TP Link uh, EAP225 default IP address. If we want to access to this access point to our system then we have to give a IP to our LAN card after giving a IP to our LAN card then we have to then we will go a browser friends we give IP address 192.168.0.254 in browser and click ok its default IP is admin admin Username admin, password is also admin. It's asking about the new username, the admin, and we click on next. Here we give. IP uh, SSID golden uh, we give its SSID golden and uh, then its password is one two uh, And we also give the same setting to our uh, 5G gigahertz wireless radio. Golden. We are giving the same, also we are enabling the 5 gigahertz wireless radio, and we also give this SSID same and password. G Okay, then we click on save. These are the these are the basic settings of uh, TP-Link Wi-Fi EAP double two five. We click on finish. And here are different options. Here is, these are device information. This these are the wireless information we have. Uh, uh, we configure both uh, SSID uh, 2.4 gig and uh, 5 gigahertz and here below the information are shown here and um, then we see client here currently no client are connected to this uh, device <coughs> sorry then we go to wireless here we first we see 2.4 gig and here uh, it's enable and these are the settings which we have done in previous step and these are the uh, wireless settings advanced setting why uh, i mean frequency settings and load balance if we want to load balance airtime fairness more settings here are different types of option which we can configure according to our requirement here are portal portal means if we want to configure this uh, device through portal then we can also configure this vlan mac filtering we can also uh, enable mac filtering then scheduler scheduler means if we can uh, run this device for a period of time and uh, uh, so on. here are these options okay the if we want to radio off for uh, specific time then we can do through through scheduling then band, band steering bands we will enable this band steering is option uh, if uh, both uh, may uh, when we create the both ssid 
2.4 and 5 gigahertz make and uh, same name then the wireless password are same then it will uh, do band steering means uh, if if a device uh, 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz are um, come in range it will uh, get the functionality of the uh, bands according to our device quality of service uh, here we can configure quality of service and then uh, rough is the field detection and then management management means it's uh, the DSCB fallback IP 192.168.0.254 it's dynamic we are not going to assign static then here are some uh, another option system log web server management access control LED control we can enable or disable LED and SSH SNMP we can uh, locate, uh, uh, click on locate and uh, see where our access pad are installed and then system, here are system, account management, username, password uh, and whatsoever and here are controller setting like uh, cloud base we can, uh, friends we can also uh, access this blind, uh, device through cloud, cloud base management uh, oh, meta, uh, uh, the software used for this device are uh, meta controller software we can also use software as well as hardware hardware is also available and if we install software to in at any machine then we do not need to for hardware controller hardware controller is uh, some costly then we can save uh, cost of uh, uh, downloading a software and install on any machine uh, if we want to dedicate uh, hardware controller then we can purchase from market uh, my friends these are the option of uh, uh, the cloud based management code we can install this software on our cell mobile phone and uh, control the uh, restart device any device restart reconfigure or whatsoever what we can do we can do from we can manage it from our mobile device there are time settings uh, here we can set time settings then reboot reset option backup and restore option they here are firmware update we can also firmware update and these are the basic configuration and overview of this device i think you can uh, hopefully uh, you will understand uh, the con uh, configuration and activity of this uh, device to like more uh, configuration to, to like more videos uh, please you, uh, subscribe and like my channel uh, so you will get more informative videos if you have any problem in uh, configuring this device or uh, any other wireless device you can message me i will help out uh, uh, through uh, friends for uh, the this time no uh, uh, i am uh, leaving okay bye